Live from our campus studio near the base of Mission Peak, this is Ohlone Tri-City News, featuring stories about our neighbors in Fremont, Newark, and Union City. Good evening and welcome to Ohlone Tri-City News for Wednesday, April 19th. I'm Nick Feeler and now the news. Members of the Newark and Fremont Police Departments were involved in an officer-involved shooting, OIS, in the 3900 block of Cedar Boulevard last Thursday, April 13th, at 4.46 p.m. The OIS incident resulted in the death of one individual and reportedly occurred following an enforcement stop by a multi-jurisdictional law enforcement agency task force that involved the Newark and Fremont Police Departments. If you have any information regarding this investigation, please contact Sergeant Yama Homoyan. That's yama.homoyan at newark.org. Last Friday, Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Y. Price filed three murder charges against three defendants responsible for the death of five-year-old Eliana Cristomo on southbound I-880. The suspects have been identified as Humberto Anaya, Cristo Ayala, and Emmanuel Sarengo. All three defendants were also involved in an assault earlier that day in Fremont Boulevard and were charged with felony assault with a semi-automatic firearm, felony carrying a concealed firearm within a vehicle, and felony carrying a loaded firearm on one's person in a city. Fremont's fishing in the city event allowed kids to experience the basics. Here's Murtaza with the story. This past Saturday, Fishing in the City was held at Lake Elizabeth, giving kids a chance to learn rigging, knot tying, fishing safety, and casting. After checking in, the kids listened to a guide describing basic safety and how they should take care of the environment. Next, students were able to pick up equipment and bait that they would then use to fish. Casting from the fishing rod was supervised and given proper direction so the kids' safety would come first. For more information on fishing events, visit Fremont.gov or contact 510-494-4300. A park cleanup is being hosted in honor of Earth Day at Contempo Park in Union City. All equipment and supplies needed will be provided. The event will happen this Saturday, April 22nd from 9 to 11 a.m. For more info and to pre-register, visit unioncity.org and click on Community and Recreation Services. Stay tuned. Ohlone is hosting its open house to show what they can bring to the table. We'll be back after this break. You know you don't have to wear your PT gear anymore, right? It's comfortable. So how's civilian life treating you? It's fine. When I got out, I didn't want to admit that there was anything wrong because I felt like a failure. And then I realized, like, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So I started talking to someone. Maybe you are fine. But if you're not, it's OK. Thank you. If you or a veteran you know needs support, don't wait. Reach out. Find resources at va.gov reach. Recently, the western U.S. has averaged more than 1,900 earthquakes and 3,800 significant wildfires each year. So chances are, there will be more of both near here again. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has all the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. The New Haven Unified School District is hosting New Haven Day, a showcase of New Haven students and schools featuring student performances and activities for the whole family. These include pet adoptions, a fire truck, representatives from Union City Family Center, and on-site enrollment for the 2023-2024 school year. The event will be held on Saturday, April 22nd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at James Logan High School. Earlier today, the Ohlone Theater and Dance Department put on a spring dance production. Here's Anna with the story. Today at noon, the Ohlone Theater and Dance Department put on a free preview of their upcoming spring dance production titled Everybody Dance Now. This performance aimed to celebrate some popular music from the 90s and bring awareness to their upcoming show premiering tomorrow night through Saturday night. To see the show, head down to the Ohlone Smith Center and watch this fun production live in the Jackson Theater at 8 p.m. And now it's time for entertainment. 
This week should be a good week for fans of the horror genre, as we've got quite the lineup of horror and thriller films being released. Just a few days ago, The Pope's Exorcist, starring Russell Crowe, hit the big screen. The movie is scarily inspired by the actual files of Father Gabriel Amorth himself, the chief exorcist of the Vatican. The film follows Amorth, played by Crowe, as he investigates various possessions, which leads to him uncovering an age-old conspiracy that the Vatican has tried so hard to keep hidden. So far, critics aren't really enjoying this one so much that it has a 46% on Rotten Tomatoes. Many say the film just isn't scary, it's rather cliché, it's too jam-packed, and the story and characters aren't fleshed out. However, audiences say otherwise, giving the movie uh, 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. Many say the movie is an enjoyable watch, it's entertaining, and the acting is well done, especially Crow's performance being notably worth it. Which side appeals to you? You'll have to watch for yourself. You can catch The Pope's Exorcist in theaters now. And coming out this Friday, with some pre-screenings happening tomorrow night, is Evil Dead Rise. Part of the cult classic franchise, Evil Dead Rise is the fifth installment in the series and moves away from that familiar cabin in the woods and into the city. The film is about two estranged sisters, Beth, the youngest, and Ellie, who is raising three kids alone in an apartment in L.A. When Beth makes a long overdue visit, their reunion is cut short when a mysterious book is found that gives rise to flesh-possessing demons. Now Beth must fight to survive as she is faced with a whole new definition of family. Reviews have already started to come out for this film and it currently stands at 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Many critics agree that this rendition in the series is everything that fans of the Evil Dead saga would hope to see and does a good job of carrying the franchise forward. Many say it is a perfect combination of scares, blood, and horror entertainment. A fair warning though, this movie is said to be incredibly gory with many unsettling scenes. However, if that type of horror is right up your alley, then you can catch Evil Dead Rise in theaters this Friday. Also coming out for this Friday with pre-screenings tomorrow night is Bo is Afraid. From Ari Aster, director of Hereditary and Midsummer, his new film starring Joaquin Phoenix follows Bo, an anxiety-ridden and paranoid man as he embarks on a journey where he faces some of his darkest and greatest fears, all in order to get back home to his mother. If you've seen either Midsummer or Hereditary, then you know this film is going to be a trip. The reviews that have come out say this film is exactly that, trippy. Many agree that this is one of those films that leaves you confused afterwards, wondering, what the heck did I just watch? But viewers have to realize that that's the point of this movie. A lot of the interpretation is up to the viewer. Critics say that if you understand that, then you'll most likely enjoy the film and find this, quote, bold, distinctive art piece, unquote, quite fascinating. If you like leaving the theater in a questioning mindset and feeling unanswered, then you should be sure to check out Bo is Afraid in theaters Friday. And that's all for entertainment. Don't miss out, Fremont Downtown Event Center is hosting an Earth Day Fair for the eco-friendly atmosphere. More details after the break. Every day thousands of kids start vaping. And I can't let this happen to my kid. So if you want to talk to your kids, you have to get it trendy. No, you're doing it wrong. Can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Visit talkaboutvaping.org for tips on when and how to have the vape talk. Get it, slip it, cuff it, check it. Talk to doctor now and share it. Get it, slip it, cuff it, check it. High blood pressure silently affects millions of Americans. Staying on top of your blood pressure is as simple as these four easy steps. Self-monitoring is power. Visit manageyourbp.org to learn more. Super Saturday is an in-person open house to learn more about what Ohlone College has to offer. It will include many activities, including application workshops, campus tours, free food, classroom, and lab demos, and a chance to win an iPad. There will be staff on site to answer questions. Ohlone College's Super Saturday will be held from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. this Saturday at the Fremont Campus and next Saturday at the Newark Campus. Reception for a free local art show took place last week. Don't miss your chance to check out the exhibit while it lasts. Here's Morgan with the story. The Olive Hyde Art Guild hosts a reception for their biannual members juried show this past Friday. Featuring live music and complimentary refreshments, the reception displayed local artists' award-winning pieces and allowed guests to even vote for their favorite artwork. Some of the artists were present to answer any questions that guests had while they roamed the gallery. Viewers and artists alike admire sculptures, paintings, 
photographs and even quilts that depicted local scenery and residents of the Tri-City area. If you have not had the chance to visit yet, the gallery will be displaying this exhibit through May 27th. For more information about the event or even the showing of the virtual gallery, visit olivehydeartguild.org. This is Morgan Oviat for Ohlone Tri-City News. Now it's time for weather. Tossing it to you, Anna. Thank you, Nick. Today, San Jose reached a high of 61, while the lowest today was at Santa Cruz at 54. Let's take a look at tonight's low temperatures. Tonight, we will see low 40s all around the bay, with the lowest being in San Jose at 41. The highest temperature tonight will be in San Francisco at 49. Let's take a look at tomorrow. Tomorrow, the high will be 71 in San Jose and Morgan Hill, while the lowest will be in Santa Cruz at 58 degrees. Let's take a look at this week's forecast. It looks like we are finally seeing some warmer weather with sunny skies this week and partly sunny, partly cloudy skies on Sunday. That's it for this week's weather. Back to you, Nick. Thank you, Anna. Come celebrate Earth Day by joining the City of Fremont's Earth Day Fair. This event will include indoor and outdoor exhi exhibitions with booths and a residential drop-off. People can meet with eco-friendly experts and learn more about environmentally sustainable practices, recycling, energy conservation, and more. The fair will be held this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Fremont's Downtown Event Center and Plaza. It will be an afternoon of fun for families with many activities including free bike tune-ups, food trucks, and Earth Day arts and games. Want to have coffee with members that serve our community? Tune in later with Coffee with the Cop right after the break. When I was 10, my mom got deported. We had a difficult time, and I feel that's why I didn't get to finish school. My husband is really supportive in a way that he pushed me to go back to school. She wants to have a career so her kids can look up to her. They both keep me motivated to go to school, and they see that if I do it, like they can do it too, you know? I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Wait, not the toilet! No, don't do that. No. Don't hit your brother! Ooh. Not again! What did I tell you about playing in the mud? Ugh. Raffi, not so close to the pool! Wait! Frankie, happy... What are you doing? We told you never to touch the gun! I'm sorry, I didn't think it was that big of a you deal. You could have hurt yourself! Safely store your guns. Unload, lock, and away from ammo. The Central Park large and small dog park areas are closed for maintenance until Friday. During this time, staff will be power washing, disinfecting, and maintaining structures, fixtures, and drinking fountains. Both dog park areas will reopen in the afternoon this Friday, April 21st. For more details, contact the Park Maintenance Division by email or call 510-979-5700. The Fremont Police Department is hosting a Coffee with the Cop event next Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Mission Coffee. This event offers an excellent opportunity for community members to meet and greet with members of the police department. The event will be located at 151 Washington Boulevard. Stop by and get to know the officers serving your area. And here's our kicker for tonight. At Newark on Monday, members of the Alameda County Fire Department rescued a kitten that was trapped under the eaves of a roof. We always love a good kitten story. That's pretty perfect, if you ask me. And that's all for tonight's Ohlone Tri-City News. Please join us next Wednesday starting at 8.30 p.m. live on Comcast Channel 28 and our IBM video channel. To see recordings of stories and past shows, visit ohlonetv.net. And have a great, good rest of your day.